You know how modern housewives have common problems, such as, what are you going to make for dinner? How do you handle a situation responsibly as a parent? When are you going to tell Janet that the other soccer moms don't really like her and are just using her for her fancy plates? Well, none of those compare to the chore that is gardening. I mean, I myself have experience with this because I am, of course, Asian. But enough about my Asian heritage. Don't you just hate it when you go to dig a hole for your new rose that you just trimmed and stole from Janet's garden, and when you go to plant it, you realize the soil is not moist, rich, and fertile as it should be? And don't you just hate it when you go to water your plants and you happen to look away for five minutes while scrolling on Facebook, only to then look back and realize you drowned your entire garden because you had the water on the highest setting? Like, am I right, Modern Housewives? But hey, at least it makes it all worth it because by the end of your gardening, you can just grab a glass of wine, turn on the old washing machine, and sit on it as you w wait a minute. That's not how you garden. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Mario, and your boy is back. Your king has returned. The commentary prophet is back at it again with another video. Like, holy shit, it feels like I haven't uploaded in two years. Probably because I haven't uploaded in two years. Anyways, mobile game ads have got to be one of the reasons why the world is coming to an end. I honestly think this is secretly why the coronavirus is happening. Like, just imagine, if you will, the world leaders of the world, because they're the world leaders, in one big room, and they're all just sweating bullets, trying to come up with a way to properly fight shitty mobile game ads. Because that's, of course, what world leaders get together about. There's actually many different kinds of mobile game ads. One of my personal favorites is the one that's marketed towards epic gamers. They're usually the kind of people that like to make things go boom, bam, and oh yeah. The reason why these ads are very successful is because they do one very smart thing, steal. Like what's the best way to get someone to play our game? Obviously by showing them another game that they'll actually want to play instead. They basically show gameplay footage or a cinematic of some sort from an entirely different game slash franchise. And it's pretty obvious that it's stolen footage because I mean, some of this footage you like, it's not possible yet to have something like this. On a phone. Like, do they really expect you to believe a game like Jump Force can be on your phone? Like you go to click the link and meanwhile, the game actually looks more like this. Another type of mobile game ad that you'll normally see is one that takes a pretty simple well-known system like farming, base building of some sort, or any other epic game or game genre. And then, there's a complete 180 because holy shit that shit goes totally sexual in asterisks. The third type of ad you'll see is actually a pretty hard one to overcome. Like these guys are stepping up their game. Ad. This is great. Wow, look at that fine craftsmanship. Um, reverse psychology is an awesome tool. I don't know if you guys know about it, but basically, you make someone think the opposite of what you believe, and that tricks them into doing something stupid. Works like a charm. Like I'll just be scrolling through Instagram, liking e-girls pics, and this mobile ad will pop up saying, hey, 90% of people can't complete this. Luckily, I paid a stupid amount of money for a psychology college class, and I don't have to fall for such mastermind tactics. Well, well, well. How the turntables... Yeah, it was totally worth thousands of dollars, just so I don't give mobile advertisers a couple clicks. And last but not least, this kind of ad is actually a very dangerous one. It basically combines everything and more. Also, this one is really funny. Like, first of all, why is the guy in the hospital bed trying to kill you? Second of all, how can you not spell late? Like, it even says it right there on the wall. Late. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the mobile game ads you'll encounter. And before I end the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a game that did not sponsor this video because I am a nobody. But if you want to make me feel better about being a nobody, simply follow me on Twitch at the link below. I stream during these times, and I stream the following. 
Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're still watching, I'm streaming probably right now. But if I'm not, I will be sometime. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, take it easy. Yeah, well, this man world made me crazy. Might just turn around to 180. I ain't politic and I ain't kissing no baby. The devil on my doorstep being so shady. Mm, don't trip. We don't gotta let him in. Don't trip. Hey, yeah.